Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I was reading some of your comments, and you guys were like, go to another room because it's echoey. I'm an idiot! an idiot! Well, guess what? It's echoey in this one, too. Who edited the video? I did! I hope you like this and you guys hated it. We're here to answer some more questions. Hi, Riley. I've read that you worked in the adult industry for about nine years. I wanted to ask you, how did the industry change during this time? There has been so many changes in the adult industry from when I first started. I started shooting in 2011 and it is now 2020. Fuck, that's been a long time. Back in the day, back in the day, God, I sound so old. In 2011, when I would shoot, I would basically just get paid a one-time fee just to show up to set. My rate when I first started in the industry was $900 for a boy girl scene and for girl girl I think it was like $700. I would get paid one time and that's it. Now models have the opportunity to create like an OnlyFans and a Snapchat and a website and all these other ways to monetize themselves. They get their own residual income so girls are actually able to produce their own content, publish it on their own sites and make money over and over and over and over and over. And it's really amazing and it's so cool. And because of social media, Instagram and Twitter, girls don't even have to be an actual professional porn star. I think a lot of models now make even more money than a lot of the production companies. Have you ever stuffed food in your ass for fun? What the actual f did you ask me? No. I, no! No! God! I mean, I did put a cucumber in my vagina. <laughs> I don't put food up my butt. I also don't like mixing food and sex. It's not a good combination for me. Pancakes or waffles? I just can't stop thinking about waffles. I like waffles. Are you vegan or vegetarian now? I used to be vegan for like four years. I am no longer vegan. Loneliness. I wanted to ask you something a bit serious if you don't mind. You said that a lot of guys are afraid of you because you are wealthier than most of them and most guys don't want to date you because they are not comfortable with your job. Do you ever feel sad and lonely? lonely. I've had some trouble dating guys because I'm financially successful. People will want to date me just because I'm a famous porn star. That makes it really challenging to find people who are authentically interested in being with me. I've dated guys who are just really insecure where like midway through the date, they asked me if I knew their name. Say my name, say my name. This has happened to me multiple times. In the middle of our date, they're like, do you remember my name? And I was like, oh my God. And for a second, I did forget his name. He made me question myself and I was like, do I know his name? It's fucking shitty. I've had guys on the third date tell me, I'm gonna get you to quit porn. To have the audacity to ask me to quit my job is so fucked. I dated a guy for over two years. The main struggle of our relationship was that I do porn. It wasn't until we broke up that he told me that sometimes he didn't want to kiss me. Moving forward after that, I've dealt with it again and again and again. There are perks and benefits to being a sex worker in the dating world because if I was a teacher, I would never know how you would treat a stripper or a sex worker or a porn star. Because I am a porn star, I get to have this filter that puts people through the garbage disposal because I'm like, you are a raw person, go down the drain. Dating is hard in general for everyone. Being a sex worker adds to it, so. Will I ever settle down? I hope so. Do I feel sad and lonely? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I think that a lot of like mainstream media and television and movies and books makes it seem like we're all gonna have this beautiful love story. I don't believe in that. I don't think it's a reality to think that everyone gets this happy ending fairy tale thing. A lot of times I'm like totally content and tell myself like I'll spend my old days and my retirement money on a dog sanctuary. 
I'll be the crazy lady who has a hundred dogs <laughs> and, and they will bring me all of the happiness that I need in the world because sometimes I'm like, fuck people. Oh, dating sucks. Why do you think people like to watch your porn so much? I don't know. I think because I'm relatable. I'm silly and like funny and kind of goofy and weird, which makes it feel like I'm a real person. I smile in my pornos. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Did I fuck Logan Paul or any YouTubers? You yeah. hooked up with multiple girls in that house. That's not true. Wouldn't you like to know? What are some of your unexpected personal interests? I like to garden. I love to be outside. I like bugs. I'm weird. I love bugs. Oh my god. Look at this albino praying mantis! Oh, so cute! Look at him! I love spiders. I like reptiles. I love like all animals. I love cooking. I like to dance. Uh, yeah! What does intimacy mean to you? And can you give an example of it from your personal life or something intimate you witnessed that made you feel something? I feel like intimacy is being vulnerable with someone. I like to feel people's hands on my face. Ah! There's just something about it that just feels so secure. I think intimacy is not a sexual thing. Sharing laughs together, sharing moments together. Ah. I want intimacy in my life. I am a sad woman. These questions are making me sad because they're making me think of the person that I want to be intimate with who I'm not able to be with. <sighs> emotions, damn you emotions. I'm thinking about getting into the industry and I wasn't sure how my family was going to take it. I was wondering how your family handled you entering the adult industry. That is always a hard one because one, everyone's family is different. Most of the times, people's families handle it very negatively. It'll make you wish you weren't even born. Almost all of my friends' parents were not very supportive and even still to this day are not supportive. Parents are gross, parents are gross. Some of their parents kind of just slowly changed their mind. This is your life, so like, you should do the things that you want to do. With me personally, my mom was supportive in the beginning. She kind of just let me do whatever. Not that I think it was a good thing. I had a lot of freedom. As time progressed and I became successful, I started to feel like my mom was using me so that she could live a more luxurious lifestyle. When I started to set like these boundaries, not giving her money or things like that, it made our relationship a bit more difficult and almost toxic. I really felt like she was just trying to take full advantage of me. I don't talk to my mom now anymore. I've tried to reach out to her to have these like conversations of value because I want to like be able to have a relationship of substance. I want to be able to talk about our problems. She just isn't willing to understand where I'm coming from. I think that she's too prideful and doesn't want to admit that she was wrong and doesn't want to admit that how she treated me and what she asked of me was really inappropriate from a mother. And so it sucks. I don't have a mom anymore. I don't talk to her. I miss having a mom. I feel like you can't rewind and you can't go back. I don't have that relationship with her anymore. I don't ever think I will. And that bums me out. Bums me out a lot. I talked to my dad and he struggles with my, my job being in the industry. He's also religious. Recently, I wanted to go visit him and he said that I, I can't go visit because his wife, my stepmom, doesn't want me there. I'm not allowed to go visit my dad anymore because my stepmom doesn't like that I do porn. But then he told me that when I was like, can we like go get coffee and like we could go like get breakfast? And he's like, I don't want to be seen in public with you. What? Oh no! And that just fucking hurt so bad. And it sucks. 
I lost my family. I don't talk to like my brothers or sisters. I think that they all kind of like try to take advantage of me and stuff or they're just like my dad don't want to be around me. Oh, I feel sad. I've lost my whole family and it sucks. So a lot of times when people ask me if they should do porn, I tell them no. I tell them that it makes life really hard. It makes dating really hard. It makes your family life really hard. It makes intimacy hard. It, you're putting yourself out there and the world is now judging you. You have to be okay with being shamed every day of your life. I don't even want to have children because I do porn because I'm worried of the way that people will treat my child. The fact that these are things that I think about because the people are so fucking shitty sucks. I don't know. A lot of times I tell people you shouldn't do porn because there's just a lot of negatives that come out of it and you have to be a really strong person to be able to be okay with it. I know nothing about the real insides of the porn industry, but have you ever had some scary experiences in your line of work? You clearly run your own show at this point, but the road sounds long and hard, pun intended. <laughs> I think that one of the scariest experiences that I've had in porn is whenever we have an HIV outbreak. It's fucking terrifying. A lot of times I don't even like to think about that. Having sex in general, you can contract the virus HIV AIDS. When we have an HIV outbreak in the industry, the whole industry shuts down and nobody is working and people are getting tested like we, over and over and over and over again just to make sure that everyone is clean and clear those are always my scariest moments of when the industry shuts down i'm always afraid to get the phone call of being like you're on the quarantine list you've been exposed to the virus you've worked with someone who has hiv thank the universe that i have never been on one of these quarantine lists and i hope that i never am it's fucking real and it's scary and i think that's the scariest realest thing that i've personally gone through we get tested a lot and we do everything we can in the industry but you still can't help the fact that some people do drugs people put other people at risk that you put a lot of faith and trust into the people you work with you could only hope that the people you're working with are also safe what are some of your ideas on changing the view that society has on sex They've done these studies with people where they put someone in a virtual reality and they had them chop down a tree. And then afterwards, because they went through the, the virtual physical experience of chopping down a tree, they then later used less paper. So my idea is if there was some sort of virtual reality that could put people in the shoes of an adult sex worker, then maybe it would change the way that people treated us. I have, I have multiple ideas on this virtual reality. So one of them is you're a porn star with a baby and you're on the street and people are shaming you. Maybe if people realized how fucking shitty they were, then they wouldn't be this way and they would see how it affects someone. If you were put in a simulation to where you're a porn star and you get these like, you know, horrible emails and messages and you get these mean DMs and you see how people treat you, then maybe you wouldn't treat porn stars so bad. Like, that's, that's an idea that I have. Have you ever considered retiring from acting and just producing? The porn world could use more like your latest vids. You've already done so much as an actress. I've definitely considered it. I wanna do a television series and I wanna like work in mainstream media, but I also wanna continue to work in the adult industry. I don't want people to be like, oh, Riley's too good for porn. I wanna help the porn industry by still being active in porn, and active in like the mainstream media those are my goals i want to retire when people are like we want more we miss you we think you're still so hot and beautiful like i don't want to be some old ugly fucking bitch i'm just like no i want to retire while i'm still hot and popping what do you think is the main purpose of us being alive oh my god I have no idea. I literally wish I had some fucking way to answer this, but I don't even know. 
I have no idea why we are, we are here. I have no idea why we are alive. I have no idea why we exist. I don't know why this bottle of water is here. I mean, just keep me hydrated, but like, why? Why do I need to drink water? Why are ants on the planet? Why is the planet around in, in general? Why does the universe exist? Why is there a moon? Why is there a sun? Why is there a universe? Why are there stars? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's it for today, you guys. I answered a lot of questions. I had a lot of intimate moments. I fucking cried. I laughed. Thank you so much for everyone who is asking me questions. I really appreciate you guys reaching out. Thank you for everyone who's subscribing and liking my channel. Please go like and subscribe if you like this channel, if you like me, if you think I'm cute, if you think I'm fun, if you want to hang out with me, if you want to do all the things, please go like and subscribe. Um, yeah, I plan on doing more YouTube videos. I'm trying to be like, I don't know. I'm just trying to have fun with this. I'm trying to be real. I'm trying to be authentic. I want to be a fucking human being. So like, subscribe. Join my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. I cried. I laughed. I hope you laughed. Maybe you cried a little too. I'm sorry if I made you cry. <laughs> but like, hopefully it was good. I don't know. I love you. 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 Thank you for everything. I need a rally read to come and ride me. I need a rally read, sexy girl underneath.